The Berkeley Software Distribution BSD was a Unix-based operating system developed and distributed by the Computer Systems Research Group CSRG at the University of California, Berkeley, from 1977 to 1995. Today, BSD is often used non-specifically to refer to several of its descendants, including FreeBSD, OpenBSD, NetBSD, and DragonflyBSD. BSD was initially called Berkeley Unix because it shared the same source code with AT&T Research Unix. In the 1980s, BSD was widely adopted by workstation vendors in the form of proprietary Unix variants such as Decultrix and Sun Microsystems Sunos, due to its permissive licensing, and its familiarity to many technology company founders and engineers. Although these proprietary BSD derivatives were largely superseded in the 1990s by Unix SVR4 and OSF1, later releases provided the basis for several open source operating systems including FreeBSD, OpenBSD, NetBSD, DragonflyBSD, Darwin, and TrueEOS. These, in turn, have been incorporated into proprietary operating systems including Microsoft Windows and Apple's MacOS and iOS. Topic history The earliest distributions of Unix from Bell Labs in the 1970s included the source code to the operating system, allowing researchers at universities to modify and extend Unix. The operating system arrived at Berkeley in 1974, at the request of computer science professor Bob Fabry who had been on the program committee for the Symposium on Operating Systems Principles where Unix was first presented. A PDP-1145 was bought to run the system, but for budgetary reasons, this machine was shared with the mathematics and statistics groups at Berkeley, who used RSTS, so that Unix only ran on the machine eight hours per day, sometimes during the day, sometimes during the night. A larger PDP-1170 was installed at Berkeley the following year, using money from the Angra database project. In 1975, Ken Thompson took a sabbatical from Bell Labs and came to Berkeley as a visiting professor. He helped to install version 6 Unix and started working on a Pascal implementation for the system. Graduate students Chuck Haley and Bill Joy improved Thompson's Pascal and implemented an improved text editor, X. Other universities became interested in the software at Berkeley, and so in 1977 Joy started compiling the first Berkeley software distribution One Bahamian Dollar, which was released on March 9, 1978. One Bahamian Dollar was an add-on to version 6 Unix rather than a complete operating system in its own right. Some 30 copies were sent out. The second Berkeley software distribution, Two Bahamian Dollars, released in May 1979, included updated versions of the One Bahamian Dollar software as well as two new programs by Joy that persist on Unix systems to this day: the Vi Text Editor, a visual version of X, and the C Shell. Some 75 copies of Two Bahamian Dollars were sent out by Bill Joy. A VAX computer was installed at Berkeley in 1978, but the port of Unix to the VAX architecture, Unix 32 volts, did not take advantage of the VAX's virtual memory capabilities. The kernel of 32 volts was largely rewritten by Berkeley students to include a virtual memory implementation, and a complete operating system including the new kernel, ports of the two Bahamian dollars utilities to the VAX, and the utilities from 32 volts was released as three Bahamian dollars at the end of 1979. Three Bahamian Dollars was also alternatively called Virtual VAX, Unix or VMUNIX for Virtual Memory Unix, and BSD kernel images were normally called VM Unix until four Bahamian Dollars and 40 cents. After four Bahamian Dollars and 30 cents was released in June 1986, it was determined that BSD would move away from the aging VAX platform. The Power 632 platform codenamed Tahoe developed by Computer Consoles Inc. seemed promising at the time, but was abandoned by its developers shortly thereafter. Nonetheless, the four Bahamian dollars and 30 cents Tahoe port, June 1988, proved valuable, as it led to a separation of machine-dependent and machine-independent code in BSD which would improve the system's future portability. 
In addition to portability, the CSRG worked on an implementation of the OSI network protocol SAC, improvements to the kernel virtual memory system and with Van Jacobsen of LBL new TCP, IP algorithms to accommodate the growth of the Internet. Until then, all versions of BSD used proprietary AT&T Unix code, and were therefore subject to an AT&T software license. Source code licenses had become very expensive and several outside parties had expressed interest in a separate release of the networking code, which had been developed entirely outside AT&T and would not be subject to the licensing requirement. This led to Networking Release 1, Net 1 which was made available to non-licensees of AT&T code and was freely redistributable under the terms of the BSD license. It was released in June 1989. After Net 1, BSD developer Keith Bostick proposed that more non AT&T sections of the BSD system be released under the same license as Net 1. To this end, he started a project to re-implement most of the standard Unix utilities without using the AT&T code. Within 18 months, all of the AT&T utilities had been replaced, and it was determined that only a few AT&T files remained in the kernel. These files were removed, and the result was the June 1991 release of Networking Release 2 Net 2, a nearly complete operating system that was freely distributable. Net 2 was the basis for two separate ports of BSD to the Intel 80386 architecture, the free 386 Bahamian dollars by William Jolitz and the proprietary BSD 386, later renamed BSD OS by Berkeley Software Design BSDI 386 Bahamian dollars itself was short-lived but became the initial code base of the NET BSD and free BSD projects that were started shortly thereafter. BSDI soon found itself in legal trouble with AT&T's Unix System Laboratories USL subsidiary, then the owners of the System V copyright and the Unix trademark. The USL v. BSDI lawsuit was filed in 1992 and led to an injunction on the distribution of Net2 until the validity of USL's copyright claims on the source could be determined. The lawsuit slowed development of the free software descendants of BSD for nearly two years while their legal status was in question, and as a result systems based on the Linux kernel, which did not have such legal ambiguity, gained greater support. The lawsuit was settled in January 1994, largely in Berkeley's favor. Of the 18,000 files in the Berkeley distribution, only three had to be removed and 70 modified to show USL copyright notices. A further condition of the settlement was that USL would not file further lawsuits against users and distributors of the Berkeley-owned code in the upcoming four Bahamian dollars and 40 cents release. The final release from Berkeley was 1995's four Bahamian dollars and 40 cents light release 2, after which the CSRG was dissolved and development of BSD at Berkeley ceased. Since then, several variants based directly or indirectly on four Bahamian dollars and 40 cents light, such as FreeBSD, NETBSD, OpenBSD, and DragonflyBSD, have been maintained. The permissive nature of the BSD license has allowed many other operating systems, both open source and proprietary, to incorporate BSD source code. For example, Microsoft Windows used BSD code in its implementation of TCP, IP and bundles recompiled versions of BSD's command line networking tools since Windows 2000. Darwin, the basis for Apple's macOS and iOS, is based on four Bahamian dollars and 40 cents Lite 2 and FreeBSD. Various commercial Unix operating systems, such as Solaris, also incorporate BSD code. Topic. Relationship to Research Unix Starting with the 8th edition, versions of Research Unix at Bell Labs had a close relationship to BSD. This began when 4.1 CBSD for the VAX was used as the basis for Research Unix 8th edition. This continued in subsequent versions, such as the 9th edition, which incorporated source code and improvements from 4 Bahamian dollars and 30 cents. The result was that these later versions of Research Unix were closer to BSD than they were to System V in a Usenet posting from 2000. Dennis Ritchie described this relationship between BSD and Research Unix. 
Research Unix 8th edition started from I think four Bahamian dollars and ten cents C, but with enormous amounts scooped out and replaced by our own stuff. This continued with 9th and 10th. The ordinary user command set was, I guess, a bit more BSD flavored than Sysvish, but it was pretty eclectic. Topic relationship to System V Eric S. Raymond summarizes the longstanding relationship between System V and BSD, stating, The divide was roughly between long hairs and short hairs. Programmers and technical people tended to line up with Berkeley and BSD, more business oriented types with AT&T and System V. In 1989, David A. Curry wrote about the differences between BSD and System V. He characterized System V as being often regarded as the standard Unix, however, he described BSD as more popular among university and government computer centers. Due to its advanced features and performance, most university and government computer centers that use Unix use Berkeley Unix, rather than System V. There are several reasons for this, but perhaps the two most significant are that Berkeley Unix provides networking capabilities that until recently release were completely unavailable in System V, and that Berkeley Unix is much more suited to a research environment environment, which requires a faster file system, better virtual memory handling, and a larger variety of programming languages. Technology Topic Berkeley Sockets Berkeley's Unix was the first Unix to include libraries supporting the Internet Protocol stacks, Berkeley Sockets. A Unix implementation of IP's predecessor, the ARPANES NCP, with FTP and Telnet clients, had been produced at the University of Illinois in 1975, and was available at Berkeley. However, the memory scarcity on the PDP-11 forced a complicated design and performance problems. By integrating sockets with the Unix operating system's file descriptors, it became almost as easy to read and write data across a network as it was to access a disk. The AT&T laboratory eventually released their own streams library, which incorporated much of the same functionality in a software stack with a different architecture, but the wide distribution of the existing sockets library reduced the impact of the new API. Early versions of BSD were used to form Sun Microsystems Sunos, founding the first wave of popular Unix workstations. Binary compatibility Some BSD operating systems can run much native software of several other operating systems on the same architecture, using a binary compatibility layer. Much simpler and faster than emulation, this allows, for instance, applications intended for Linux to be run at effectively full speed. This makes BSDs not only suitable for server environments, but also for workstation ones, given the increasing availability of commercial or closed source software for Linux only. This also allows administrators to migrate legacy commercial applications, which may have only supported commercial Unix variants, to a more modern operating system, retaining the functionality of such applications until they can be replaced by a better alternative. Topic standards Current BSD operating system variants support many of the common IEEE, ANSI, ISO, and POSIX standards, while retaining most of the traditional BSD behavior. Like AT&T Unix, the BSD kernel is monolithic, meaning that device drivers in the kernel run in privileged mode, as part of the core of the operating system. Topic. BSD descendants Several operating systems are based on BSD, including FreeBSD, OpenBSD, NetBSD, and Dragonfly BSD. Both NetBSD and FreeBSD were created in 1993. They were initially derived from 386 Bahamian dollars, also known as Jolix and merged the four Bahamian dollars and 40 cents light source code in 1994. OpenBSD was forked from NetBSD in 1995, and DragonflyBSD was forked from FreeBSD in 2003. 
BSD was also used as the basis for several proprietary versions of Unix, such as Sun Sunos, Sequence DYNIX, Next Next Step, DEC's Ultrix, and OSF 1AXP, now True64 Unix. Next Step later became the foundation for Apple Inc.'s MacOS. Topic. See also. Berkeley Software Distribution Portal BSD Daemon BSD Licenses Comparison of BSD Operating Systems List of BSD Operating Systems Unix Wars <laughs>